Happy Friday, my darlings. Welcome back to Let's Build the World. And welcome to part two of Brindleton House. We are going to be continuing with the exterior today, playing around with some landscaping, just getting the outside looking a little bit more detailed. I have changed things slightly from last time. Um, I have changed the shape of the house. I've also done a floor plan as well. We've managed to get a three bedroom house out of this house, which is cool, which is what I wanted. Um, so that's what we're going to do. So let's flop on over and start building. Okay, so here we are. We're back, back at Brindleton House. Um, I didn't really change much on the outside, to be honest with you. Uh, I've kept it as it was, as it was, to be honest. Um, what did we do? I changed the shape of it through the back here. So you can see the shape kind of comes out through the back a bit more. I've also put the windows on where I want them for the minute. Um, and on the sides as well. And the floor plan is as follows. We'll start downstairs. So you come in through the main entrance here. Here's like a small little parlor slash library, I think. This is going to be a toilet in this one. This is the main living area at the back of the house. And the kitchen is going to be in here with a dining room in the conservatory area. Uh, and we're going for a kind of Regency inspired house. So very kind of posh furniture, a little bit dated here and there. I'm actually utilizing this wallpaper as well, which I actually really like. It's from that, I don't know what the pack's called, the maximalist pack or whatever it is. What did I call it last time? The extremist, <laughs> the extremist pack. Oh, the pink's quite nice actually, isn't it? Oh, I don't know what to go for. Oh, I like the pink and the blue. We'll find out. We'll find out what we're going to do. Um, so yeah, living room. So obviously the stairs go up here. You can get access all around the house as well. There's doors and arches everywhere. And then upstairs you come into the hallway here. Master suite is going to be in this room here. This is going to be another kind of guest bedroom. And then a smaller single bedroom here with a big bathroom on this floor as well. Um... Is that all I need to say? No, there's a few things, a few things. I had some great ideas from you guys. One of you guys were um, kind of on my wavelength because I really wanted to build an antique shop. And I thought that's what Graham can do. Graham can be an antiques dealer. He used to be a farmer when he lived up there with his um, first family. He used to run the farm there. But I reckon Graham is an antique dealer. So we're going to build a little antique shop somewhere in the centre where I'm going to do a few other shops and stuff. I think Graham will have an antique shop with maybe like a salvage yard. Love that idea. Absolutely love that idea. And also, you guys as well were on my wavelength with this. I would imagine this would have been a much bigger estate back in the day. But as motor cars and stuff started to come in, um, the, I don't know, local council asked them to buy their land so they can put this big road through it so this house would have had a lovely view of the ocean back in the day um, and had all of this beach front as theirs but as time progressed it kind of shortened down to this shorter estate here and that's why they've got this view of this road now instead <laughs> just thought that was a great idea one of you guys i absolutely loved that thank you so much um i'm also going to be building up here the person who's going to be living here will tie in with the storyline that i've got going on here too but I'm not going to let on just what that is yet. But trust me, loves, dramas, absolute dramas. So let's quick, let's get cracking, shall we? We're going to start on the terrain painting. We're going to start on the terrain painting. Um, I'm going to flatten this down first, actually, because that is not doing it for me. This here. Yes. Let me see if I can flatten that down a little bit more. Beautiful. Just so I can get the gravel on there. And I've kind of raised the terrain up. To kind of meet here even though this is like derping out slightly and i think it's because the walls started to lift up yeah it did um but i managed to go around to get those walls down as well let me soften that down please thank you thank you there we go i just don't want that to look like it's floating that bit there because that would be strange um but hello how are you the weekend is upon us and i am so bloody glad it is <laughs> so glad i've had a really tiring week this week i really have so I'm looking forward to just chilling out, chilling out and switching off, getting offline all weekend, which is what I tend to do. Like weekends, I tend to stay away from the internet unless I'm watching a series or something like that. I use the internet for that or playing a game. 
Um, but I stay off all of social medias, really. Now, apart from Instagram, I, I do like to flop on Instagram. But I think it's important, loves, and this goes for all of you, to make sure that you're looking after yourselves with social medias and whatnot. And not being on it um, as much as what you need. Because it can be really damaging to your mental health. It really can. It really can. So just just bear that in mind, all right, darlings? Um, me think, look at me being all mother hen. <laughs> But I do, like, I hardly ever check Twitter. I think I check Twitter probably every two or three days. I'm not that active on Twitter. I'll tweet out something if it's funny. I don't spend my time reading tweets either. Um, not, well, not much time anyway. I still read a few tweets here and there from friends and whatnot. But, yeah, anybody else like that? Hopefully, hopefully, because I think it's important. It's important. And sometimes you kind of lose touch with that. I have recently kind of lost touch with... Um, kind of like not being online as much i mean I've, I've i got rid of tiktok and everything because of those reasons i was just spending way too much time and it's just not healthy loves it's really not very much not right i'm kind of happy with that i don't want really to do anything here apart from landscape so i think i'm going to add down the soil now um and we're going to landscape together we're going to landscape together i'm thinking not wild flowers or anything. I think it looks to be... I reckon she would definitely have a gardener. They Or they definitely would have a gardener. Even though it is one of Graham's kind of like hobbies, shall we say. He likes a little bit of gardening. So I might give him a little bit of a garden around here somewhere. Where he can do his gardening and whatnot. But for the majority, I reckon she gets a, she gets a gardener in to do all of those business. All of those businesses. I reckon the estate would probably have like a, a keeper, like a groundskeeper. He would come through and look after it all. Um, kind of like that idea. Kind of like that idea, I do. Um, yeah, I'm going to bring this all the way down to here, actually. And just curve it off at the end. Oh, it derped out a bit there. But there we go. There we go. Anyway, what was I going to say? Oh, I've been watching a really cool series. It's called Julia. It's the story of Julia Child. If you guys have ever watched the movie... Julie and Julia with Meryl Streep. Um, there is a series out now on HBO Max or Sky Atlantic. And and it's the kind of like follow-on continuation from the movie, Julie and Julia. It kind of follows Julia Child going into TV when she's like... And it's played by one of my... Julia is played by one of my favourite actresses, and that is Sarah Lancashire. Sarah Lancashire is a British actress, um, and she is absolutely incredible incredibly talented such a good um actress she's been in a few of my favorite programs um last tango in halifax and recently i've been watching happy valley anybody seen that i love happy valley but I've, again i've been waiting for them all to come out on streaming service so i don't have to watch them on tv but let me know if you're um watching any of them because i'd be very interested to know i would i'd be very interested to know uh, we're going to go for a darker number here, aren't we? Oh, uh, do you know what? They are using a bit of these lighter ones around. But I'm just wondering if that will be... That's not the same green. Is there a lighter version of that? I didn't even realise. Or did I? Did I realise? Let me see if I can find it. Oh, yeah, there she is. It's from Strangerville, though, for some reason. Um, No idea. But we're going to flop this in as well. Just one of these here. I know I'm going to have to tool mod this down. But I do kind of want that to be eaten up by that bank a little bit more actually oh oh i didn't even have to tool mod that oh it's poking through a little bit let's see if we can get a good oh, that was a good spot oh stunning didn't even have to tool mod that loves love when that happens for us very much do uh and i think we need some flowers around here uh, and i'm thinking i for always forget what they're called hydrangeas we're gonna get some hydrangeas in here I think that would be really nice but maybe a bit more of a i'd probably want it to match in with the kind of wisteria colors so can i size this up what do you look like when you're sized up oh no that's a bit too much that that's a bit too much for me that just doesn't look realistic um yeah we're gonna do this i'm gonna layer it i think rather than size it up i'm gonna layer it instead so it kind of looks like it's Full and juicy, you know? <laughs> yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to do it. One more there. Yeah, and I think just a little cheeky number. 
just at the back there as well. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Um, I'm thinking, actually... Oh, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. I'm thinking I'm going to soil in front of these as well. I'm just going to go down there and take a big chip. I am. I'm going to soil right in front of them. Aiden, for goodness sake. Always have to lower the tone, don't you? Always have to lower the tone. Yes. Yes, I do. Trust me to lower the tone. <laughs> Yeah, and then I'm going to put two hedges in there, I think. Probably want them to be kind of manicured looking. I mean, I like... I Those are great and all, but I just don't like the graphics on them. They look a little bit naff. Um, I mean, that's even worse, isn't it, to be honest? I mean, they're all pretty shit, aren't they? Let's be, let's be truthful. Let's be truthful. They're all pretty shit, but we're, we're going to use them anyway. <laughs> oh... Oh my lord, I'm surprised any of like the Sims team talk to me because all I do is just bitch about bitch about stuff. Oh well, don't care if they don't. <laughs> okay, if they don't. Uh, I'm just gonna be real, you know. Yes, yeah, like that. That there is a little bit of a squiff, but I'd rather that than that weird corner part poke through. And I might even do some kind of cypress-looking trees in the front here. Why is that rising up? Get down. Thank you. I'm probably going to have to lift this one down with a tool mod, but... Oh, no. No, that flopped down quite nicely. Yes. Yeah, that added something. I like that. So what I need is some cypress trees or just something like this. This could be good. Oh, oh. I love those ones from Get Together. These ones. But what about if I sized these down and just did a few little cheeky ones just in the front hiding in the hedge as well let me see this oh yes yes we will do that there we go i flop a couple more here as well always spinning them they don't look like they've just been copy paste oh yeah that's cute i do like that that's just added a bit of pizzazz to the front of it yeah, that's very nice, that. Very nice, that. Very nice, that, indeed. Now, a few of you guys said to use that old mailbox to hide that gap in the wall, but we don't have that gap in the wall anymore. And I've also shuffled this as well, so it's more central to the stairs. Um, but I'm definitely going to use that old mailbox, the kind of British-inspired one. Uh, and I think I'll plop it out the front here. Hopefully, they can get to it. They should be able to should be able to get to that unless I like put it like on here that could be quite cute the only problem with this is this would be like a community mailbox um IRL in the UK so having this like outside they do sometimes appear outside front of houses but it's not like a personal one but we're just gonna we're not gonna let that come between us and we're gonna do it sorry I did just boot my mic then okay so what I need here we need to get a couple of little planters down here, darlings. Like I always do with this wisteria. Just so it doesn't look like it's growing out from the concrete. Because it's just weird. And the same here as well. I, always, I just tuck them in like that and hope that they don't creep through. Nope, we're fine there. But there's that wisteria still doing it. Look. How long have we had that wisteria and it's still doing that? Bloody hell. Okay. Yeah. Like that, and then I think what I want to do is add in a couple of those circular planters. These here. Maybe like one here. Do I want to add these in? I think I do. But I think they might be a bit too big like that. Yes, we'll do that. We'll add a couple of these. Something to keep the builders busy. The builders, the gardeners. Yep, I'm into that as well. And we need a nice... I might put like a little plaque or something up there oh do you know what would look good that thing from university is it in wall yeah this oh maybe even now nah, that one looks a little bit too school like i might add this one up here and then do two lights either side of it oh yeah that's cute i do like that i'm just wondering should i change it to a white or no i like that tone we're gonna go for that kind of sits with that sandy sort of 
stone that we've used. Right, lighting. No, not you. You're not the vibe. We need some lovely sconces out here. Um, I'm probably going to go into the outdoor lights, actually, and get in some of those lanterns. Um, no, no, gold, gold. I mean, it kind of, no, I don't know, gold. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't know. It's just all very white. If I, I'm going to choose gold. We're going to go gold, gold, gold. Yeah, we're going to do it. I am. I'm going to absolutely do it. Lovely. Look at the size of those shadows on them. Not feeling that. Not feeling that at all. So, we've got this. I'm not... Oh, did you just see my toe click then? <laughs> yes, we know you're here. Thank you. Um, What was I going to say? I, I want this to be manicured. So, I don't want to do kind of like overgrown grass in the edges and stuff. I want this to look like it's maintained. So, we can't do too much detail. Um, I might put a little... A little bush down here but maybe choose a dark one of the darker ones instead just by the tree oh god why are you floating are you floating no it's not floating it's just weird okay right and then flop you to like there yeah just so there is a little bit of detail by the tree i don't mind that at all and some outside lighting some outside lighting we'll go for those little cheeky solar looking ones there we go. A couple of cheeky lights in. But I've also landscaped this here just a little bit. And I also got rid of that lighter um, sort of bush. It just wasn't looking right. It just wasn't looking right. It kept looking, it kept looking at me. So what this has done, adding all of that foliage, just kind of gave them a bit more privacy from that road. Do you know what I mean? They've got, kind of got a bit more privacy in this kind of like, apart from that bit, a bit more privacy in their dining room. Um, and they can just see a big wall of green out there, which is lovely. I mean, they've lost their view of the sea, so there's no point trying to get that back, is there, darlings? Anyway, so we're going to get back here, if I can get some decent enough lighting back here. <laughs> oh, no, that's not too bad. <laughs> that is not too bad. And I am probably going to have to bring that to there. I might even do like a little bit of a patio here. Can I just go to there with that? I can, but I'll keep it there. And there. <laughs> and there. Just so it's on the stone. Yes. Um, we're going to have a little bit of a patio going on here. And this bit here I'm going to have as like the little um, gardening area. So I might even just drag the gravel through. I don't want to gravel all of it because I still want this to have a little, a little bit of solidity. You know, because I'm thinking about putting a table and stuff down there. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to gravel the rest of this. Um, and I think that should suffice. Suffice quite nice. Yes. Right. Bringing you in. Bringing you down to there. Lovely. 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 Oh, I might even get rid of that, actually. Get rid of you. Just get rid. Oh, for goodness sake. And bring you down to there. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that will work out. That will work out well. I might even fence that off, actually. Just so there is kind of a separation between them. Um, and I could you maybe use this one. Let's see if this would work. If I did it like there and just left a little bit of a gap. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to do that. What other colours did you come in? Have you got something slightly darker? Oh, that looks very pristine, though. Do you have a dirtier looking one? Oh. Oh, how dare you. Yeah, that's better. Oh, I might even try those on these. The, the darker grey. Must be applied to a room. I'll apply you to a room in a minute. Like, where? What? at what point do we have to put that down before it actually changes? Um, eh, I preferred it lighter up there. Let's do that. Okay, so... I need to now get some more details at the back here. I don't know if I'm going to carry the wisteria on back here, but I would love some ivy at the back of this house. Um, I'm thinking just up in these corners, maybe, and we can have some planters on either end then. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. And I'm just going to use that university ivy, I think, and just mix it up. 
with some of that darker ivy. I think we'll do that. I think we will. I'll bring it to here. And then I'm going to put a planter just underneath of it so it kind of looks like it's trailing from there. Let's get this looking as natural as we possibly can. How it would clamber. Doesn't need to be anything too mad. This bit here, I might do a little bit more just so it kind of goes over into the edges as well. Like this. Oh, come on, my darling. Off you go. Right, I'm going to size one down. And just flip that little corner there. Beautiful. Ah, oh, stunning. Yeah, and then what I do, just to add a bit of depth to it, is just add some darker ivy mixed up within within it is that going to be really awkward nope that's fine and then here as well beautiful and here too yeah yeah i like that okay and then the planters in question maybe be those big square ones i think i'll just really 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 you're nowhere near it I'm going to move it down with the tool mod. I'm going to flop you to there and move you down with the tool mod. Uh, oh, this one's going to be a bit more awkward because of how wide this one is. So I'm going to plop you as far as I can into the corner like that. And then bring them down with the tool. There we go. That should suffice. That should suffice. That will do quite nicely. And with here, I'm thinking I want to add a few more of these in. So I'm going to flop a couple of these on this soiled area. I'll do one like there and there. I don't want to cover up that window because that window is going to have a nice view out. Um, and I'm going to just bring them all the way down to this level here. I mean, they are floating, but I will sort that as well. I'll just sort it all, love. You know me. Yeah. Yeah, that kind of gives it a nice bit of vibe there. Bit of vibage. Um, let me sort these out so they're not floating away. There we go. They're not floating anymore. Um, and then I'm going to run down this hedge all the way down. So it meets the end here. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Uh, and I might even get rid of this one. And put a tree there. Like a bigger tree. Yeah, that could be nice. Let's do that. Let's do that. What for? Oh. I just don't like the trees in this world. I love all trees. I didn't mean to say that. How very rude of me. But I don't like them. <laughs> I don't know why. They just always look a bit too cartoonish to me. But yeah. I don't know why. Weird. I know this is kind of a computer game. It's not supposed to be like that. But. Oh. I saw you, darling. Don't think that I didn't. There we go. Yeah, we'll flop that one down there. That'll be cool. That'll be cool. And I might even put a little wall here as well. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Absolutely going to do it. Cool. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm happy. So I think it's going to be a struggle to fit a table there. But I might be able to squeeze one up here, a smaller one. I mean, it's only them two. They've got a big dining room here, so it doesn't need to be... Yeah, we'll do that. Like a little patio table. Um, maybe put a little cheeky parasol as well. So maybe the one from Get Together could work here. Just in a plain colour, it doesn't need to be. Yeah. I think this could work just in this corner here as well. Excuse me, hiccups. Oh, please don't say I've got hiccups through this recording. I haven't got the time. I have not got the time for hiccups today. Yes. And then I'll flop that in a little bit tighter there. So they can come out here and eat their breakfast together. Oh, I'm kind of into that idea. And I'm going to flop a couple of those gold lights that I've used out here. I'm going to put one. Uh, maybe I'll just do the. No, we'll do two. We'll do one there and another one there. So that area is quite nicely lit, you know. I'm thinking this would have some topiary bushes out here. I've just got that vibe with this house. Some of those lovely little topiary bushes, wherever they may be. Here they are. Um, yeah, we'll do them in the darker colour as well. I'll flop one there and I'll flop one there. 
Oh, I can imagine this. Yes. I would imagine hearing water here. Now, I know they've got this river right next to them, so they would be able to hear water. But for some reason in my head, I've got like a like a little mini fountain or something. I don't know if I could fit one in, in this part here. Um, and I'm, what, what am I doing? And I'm wondering if the one that I've got in my head, this one has got a good swatch for this house. Je ne sais quoi be. You know, je ne sais quoi bien indeed. I think this would really work here, actually. I'm going to flop you down. Yeah, yeah, that will work. Cute. I'm into that. Absolutely into it. Don't really want too much else here, to be honest with you. Like, maybe a little, like, flower box underneath of this window. Wondering, actually, if I could use one of these uh, in the grey. I'll just size it down. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Yeah, a little area for them to come and dine out of an eve, you know? <laughs> of an eve. Absolutely for it. And I want to sort out his little gardening area. So, um, nothing too major. I just reckon he grows a bit of veg here and there. So, nothing too massive. Um... But I think I will go back in to debug and get those square planters out. Uh, content, there we go. Debug and live edit, stunning. Where are you? Here you are, my darlings. I could have just eye dropped them from the front, but you know. Right, here we go. And then four there. Beautiful. And I'll be able to do four on the other side. I mean, that would probably be the perfect amount for him, to be honest. Just to have a few things growing. Just have a few th things growing. Um, and, and not much else. Like, I mean, I, do you know what? I'm gonna, I know what I'm going to do here. I've had it, I'm going to put a tree here as well. But this area looks like it's kind of... I just want this area to... Or house to look like it's been here for years. So it's kind of like overgrown a little bit with trees. What am I doing? Oh, there we go. That one. So I'm going to flop a tree in this corner. Let's get that terrain paint going lovely and then we'll flop a tree don't know if i'm going to use the same tree a hawthorn but i might i might oh oh maybe a biscuit <laughs> no we'll just use one of those one of those will be fine absolutely fine okay and then to finish off today what i'm going to do is just litter this place in a little bit more ivy um i still got deep we'll still detail that up a little bit but just if we're getting the bare bones down. Um, I'm thinking Ivy just... I just think this looks a little bit too neat. Like it doesn't look... I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to use... Let's get rid of you and you, my love. I'm going to use some of this instead. As well. Or as well, sorry. Just so it looks, again, just a little bit more overgrown. You know, just on the edges. Just kind of gives it that more organic vibe, loves. Let's make this side a little bit thicker. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. We'll do the same here as well. We'll do the same around here. Ugh, oh, right. There we are. Ooh. Yes, this is working. This is working. And then corbels we need corbels darlings corbels for the gods so i'm gonna be flopping a few of these around i've been putting them up on the windows or where the windows kind of meet in the middle so i'm gonna do that i think uh same here i'm also gonna stop those from glitching out in a second as well do i want to go in there i probably need to go in there actually so i do one there let me see that uh you know what? I'm going to move you in even tighter. Filth. Are uh, you there, my love? You around to here. Beautiful. Do meet you in the middle of the window. Yeah, we'll do one there. Why not? <laughs> look at me deciding on where I'm putting core balls. Yeah, you, you look gorgeous there. You look lovely. Um, We're doing one on the edge. One in the middle of the windows. One there. And one there. I think we're done with the corbels. Done with the corbels. And I might even do some flowers here, to be honest with you. I'm, 
might even just do the base game. Um, where are they? Where? Oh, maybe. What would you look like at the back here? Nah, no, that doesn't give me British vibes. That. Um, I am going to use these. I'm going to use these, and I'm just going to do white flowers. That's better. And I'm going to do one that overlap them, and the same down here as well. Just on the front of there. I'm wondering if that would look nice on the front of the house. Nah, because it's got wisteria. It's got wisteria. It'd be fine. Makes the back look a little bit more attractive as well. Yeah, I'm into it. I'm into it. I think that looks very cute. I think that house is looking very cute now. Uh, I'll def we'll definitely be back with this next time. Uh, we'll pick this up again next week sometime. Uh, we're going to get into the interiors. We're going to get into the interiors. Um, I'm thinking with that. I liked the pink a bit more, I think, with this though. I do think I liked the pink. A little a little bit more i do oh i don't know you you guys will have to let me know what you prefer the blue or the pink but um yes as i said we'll pick up with this next week we'll pick up with this next week uh we're gonna do a couple of let's build the worlds next week so maybe we'll even get this house completed in that time uh i have no idea no idea how long that's gonna take but i shouldn't say that really and then i'm also gonna be um renovating another ea house next week and we've also got a speed build coming next week as well so mixing up a little bit again on the channel but i'm gonna say goodbye now thank you so much for watching hope you have a lovely weekend and i'll see you all on tuesday